Howdy guys! Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little Q&A for you all so you guys can get to know a little bit about who I am and basically what to kind of expect from my channel. If you're new here, then thank you for watching this 30 or so seconds and I hope that I give you a reason to hit that subscribe button. If you're not new here, then hola amigo, thank you for um, staying so far and supporting me as much as you have done. I am going to be reading off my iPad some of the questions that I've been asked to do on Instagram. Um, I did a little poll thing, well, a question thing, to see what you would like for this video. Um, so yeah, you've got some juicy questions and let's get to it. So the first question is, what is your favourite holiday destination? So, my favourite holiday destination so far has got to be Alcudia in Spain. It's in Mallorca and it's absolutely amazing. Like, the beach is to die for. If you already know me, you know that I'm a sun person and I love the beach, the sand, the waves, I love it all. Um, so yeah, I'm... I love nature, but I absolutely adore like sunny, warm destinations, which is the complete opposite to where where I'm from, really. Um, <laughs> second question is, how do you stay so positive and upbeat? First, I want to say thank you for um, saying that about me. I that's what I would like. I aim to do. I aim to just spread positivity and happiness. And the way that I just keep myself this way is just by ignoring all the negative things that are going on and especially now during lockdown it's so important to do this because there's just so much negativity going on and if you just get consumed in it it consume you and your brain and it can affect your mental health in such a really bad way so i just like to listen to positive songs surround myself by people that make me feel happy and follow positive pages really that's what i would just suggest Another question is, what is your favourite fast food? So my favourite fast food has got to be a Chinese or an Indian. I love, I, I love, I don't like spicy things, but I like korma curry. I absolutely love it. I love the coconut like flavour with it. Um, but with the Chinese, I would just say, I love the salt and pepper chips and the noodles. Oh my God, mwah! the noodles are amazing. I love the little skinny ones. I think they're called like vermicelli. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, I don't like the Udon noodles, the really big ones. Um, uh, Another question, how do you stop comparing yourself to others, especially on Instagram? Okay, um, so this question is a really good one really because I think many people struggle with this and it's just about being happy with you, within yourself. You've got to You've got to remember that you are you and nobody can be you. You've got to own it and rock it and just just be yourself. And everybody will love you for who you are. And to be honest, people probably see you in a better way than you see yourself. And you've got to think like, just make friends with that person in the mirror because all these people on Instagram are only taking a picture of their best shot. They're never gonna really put a picture where they look bad. And that's a sad thing really, because um, we use social media as just a way to say, look, I look nice, or this is my best shot. We never really use it to say like, um, oh, some days I don't look like this, or you know what I mean? So I, yeah, I would just say, just unfollow the people that make you feel bad and just be you because you're a beautiful girl. Another question is what, it, what are your favorite hobbies? So actually for me, this is an easy one because I dance salsa and bachata and I've learned a little bit of um, Kizumba and Urban Kizumba. Well, when lockdown wasn't here, I was learning them and I absolutely love it. Like, I feel like when you dance, it's you're just taking three or four so minutes of your time at a time just to fully involve yourself in dance. You don't think about the surroundings or any like bad thing that's happened in your day. And I feel like that's the reason why hobbies are a really, really important part of people's lives, really. And if you don't have a hobby, then just try to like invest some of your time into learning something new. For me as well, yeah, I would say I'm not very creative. So that's a way for me to express creativity. So yeah, another question. 
Are you a cat or dog person? Uh, I have two cats, so I would say I know how to live with cats, but I really, 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 really want a dog. I want a small little dog, a little fluffy one. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any, and I, I just love them both, but I've only had experience living with cats, so. Somebody says, do you sing or dance? I don't sing unless I'm in the shower. Um, I'm sure we all do that, you know, have a little boogie in the shower. But no, I don't sing. <laughs> I mean, I do to myself, but never will I do it in front of anybody. Um, <laughs> I dance, yeah, yeah, just like I mentioned, I dance Latin dances. Um, what motivates you? They say, by the way, I know we've never spoke, but your page is so positive. Oh. First of all, thank you. And and I just say what motivates me is people that are already where I want to be. So maybe they've got a job that I want to have or maybe I like their personality and I would like to be like that or they speak another language. Just things like that really. To get myself motivated, I also have this thing. So like a things to do and I won't show you my checklist but I'll show you how the pages look. So it's like this and I literally write down a checklist every day and I highlight things and then I just check them off and it helps me to just stay in, stay in a rhythm or actually get things done in the day that I want to do. I would just say don't put too much on yourself and just set some realistic goals for the day and then just smash them all off. That's what I do anyway. I'm currently seeing a girl that is half Cuban and Italian. What would you say idea wise for a date? Oh, oh, okay. For a date, I would say definitely don't take her to the cinema. And the reason is just because it's so awkward. Like, mm, mm, mm. like you're sitting there for what, like an hour and a half and you don't even get to talk. It's just so, mm -mm. I don't, from experience, it's a bit weird. <laughs> um, I would suggest, maybe um, junkyard golf or a trampoline park or something adventurous something like that you're gonna get to know that person's personality as well as like their looks or yeah i think it's more about the personality so try to go for an idea where you can actually do something and also speak to her like come on maybe she knows what she wants to do or find out what her interests are maybe she just wants to go for a walk but i definitely say wait till after lockdown because that's not allowed right now guys <laughs> saying that one of the questions also said where are you from and how old are you and i'm from the uk and in a place called manchester and we're actually in a lockdown yeah it's not really possible to go out and do things um so we're in the house bored. <laughs> so yeah and also, sorry, I am 20. I'm born 26th of February 2000. I know I'm a 2000 baby, but um, yeah, I'm 20 born in February. And hopefully I'm not gonna be in a lockdown. I'm not quite sure, but we're staying optimistic about that. <laughs> so yeah, one of the questions say, what, what made you start your own YouTube channel? For this, I'd say the timing. Um, we're in a lockdown, so what else can we do? And it helps me to kind of express my creativity a bit, like making videos. And I also want to spread some positivity and um, try to help people, I guess, um, through like tutorials, how-to videos, vlogs, just share a bit of me to people. And yeah, that's about it really. I don't aim to be like really famous because I know that, that people always are telling me like the market's so saturated. Um, but that's not my aim. My aim is just to be me and if people like me for me, then that's enough for me. Like, be the person that wants to make a little impact on somebody's life. Um, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, why are you such a nice person and always smiling? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't really know. I, like I said, I just want to like vibrate positive energy to people. I hope I'm a nice person. Um, <laughs> another question, it says, do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. Um, we've been together just over a year and we are actually in a long distance relationship right now. Um, I'm thinking to do like a video on how to deal with long distance and stuff like that. If that's something you guys would like to see, just let me know in the comment section below. And the final question says, do you want children? The answer to that is yes, of course. Um, I hope I can have kids when I'm older. If not, then I would definitely consider like adoption. But hopefully I can have my own little, little niños. Mm. Uh, I want two. I want 
a girl and a boy, ideally. If not, then that's fine by me. I want just two because I'm an only child and I wish that I had a sister, but I don't. Um, <laughs> so I want to give my kids someone else. Um, but yeah, so that just about sums up this video. Thank you guys for staying around this long and I hope to see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Ciao guys!